Today we're going to be doing a number four taper cut. First thing that you have to do is you have to drape your client properly to make sure that the cape does not come into contact with the client's skin. Now we're going to begin by cutting the taper cut with the number four clipper. That is the clipper with a four guard. You always comb the hair first to make sure there's no snarls in the hair so that the clipper can easily guide through the section that you're going to be working on. You start with your blade closed on the clipper with the guard, bringing it up to the temporal ridge. Move behind the ear, then around the ear. You're using a typical C motion where the blade comes into contact with the head and then as the shape of the head changes, the clipper comes away from the head. In the back, you bring the clipper up to the occipital bone. Again, you're going to follow the same thing on the opposite side of the head. As you're cutting with the clipper, you're bringing it up to the temporal ridge and then seeing it away from the head. Now after you finish the clipper cutting portion, you're going to go in, create a guide on the top using your shears and your comb. We're going to cut it to approximately an inch long, inch and a half long on the top. You're going to be cutting this using the 90 degree pattern, which is the basis for almost all men's haircuts. Make sure to adjust the chair to the proper height. Your model should always be eye level so that you can see what you're cutting. Your arms should never reach above your shoulders. You're using the number four that's on the side as your guise is to the length that you're going to bring it up to. Take notice that you never set your comb or your guard or your shears down. They are always to remain in your hands through the entire haircut. The moment that you set your comb or your shears down, they are considered contaminated and no longer allowed to be picked back up and reused on a client's head. One thing you also have to make sure is keep the hair wet because as the hair dries, it shrinks. And if you don't keep an even amount of moisture in the hair, your guide will end up shrinking and you'll have an uneven haircut.
make sure to blend it down in with the number four that you've already cut. Once you've cross-checked your haircut and made sure that everything was cut evenly, then that's when you would go in with your trimmers and clean up and outline it. Make sure when you're outlining the ears <coughs> that you are using the T-edge of your outliner. In other words, to keep it as close to the ear as possible without having the hair actually touch the ear. Once you've cleaned it all up, you just comb the hair back and you can dust off the client and remove the cape and the towel around his neck. And then you would normally take the client to the shampoo bowl and shampoo out all the loose hairs.